the defendants readily agreed to go looking for Mexicans to beat up. The gunman walked into the crowded museum early this afternoon and immediately began shooting. We received a call of shots fired here at the church. Nine people were injured during the course of this incident. A hate crime occurs nearly every hour of every day. While hate violence makes headlines, the actions of people in communities across the country are creating a different story. They are part of a movement called Not In Our Town. When they attack one of us, they attack all of us. We will protect our friends, our neighbors, our community, and we will do it together. Coming up in this program, stories from not in our town, and lessons learned from the filmmaker who has chronicled them, plus new online tools for connecting people who are making their town safe for everyone. Thousands of people are victims of hate crimes every year in this country. And for every documented attack, dozens more go unreported. Our main concern is public safety and your safety as individuals. Attacks based on bigotry not only harm the victim, they can have a terrorizing effect on a whole community. You can't go around living in fear every day, and I refuse to do it. This is where I see where people are starting to realize the importance of banding together and saying, we will not have this. In town halls, schools, and houses of worship, people are joining together to make their communities safe from hate violence. The story of Not In Our Town began with a series of hate crimes in Billings, Montana. When skinheads intimidated an African-American church, local residents took turns standing watch over the congregation. When the home of a Native American family was targeted with racist graffiti, members of the local painters union volunteered their time to paint over it. And when a brick was thrown through the window of a six-year-old Jewish boy's room during Hanukkah, 10,000 people displayed menorahs in their windows. After viewing the billing story in the PBS documentary, Not In Our Town, people across the country were inspired to find their own ways to deal with intolerance in their communities. We could never have predicted the power of the story. The people of Billings laid out a model for what you can do to address hate and bigotry. And then communities around the country decided to build on that. Patrice O'Neill and her film team have been covering the positive stories of communities uniting for over 15 years. We saw what was happening and we realized we had to document these stories and share the new and innovative actions from these communities. They showed us that it's possible to address the damage of hate, and it is possible to create an atmosphere where people can feel safer 